high developers. So in this part of Angular e-commerce project, we will update the product information with API. So in last part, we prefilled the information of product in that form. And now let's say you want to make any change in that information. For example, you want to change uh, the price, let's say for $50 or uh, name or anything. And after that, once you will click on a product information, we will call our API and that will update the information of that product in database. And after that, you can just change the, uh, you can check the changes in that uh, list also, right? So now let's see what we have to do for that. Uh, first of all, we need to create a service function for call update product API. After that, we will call this function in our component and we will check that uh, this is working fine or not. And we will also show a product day update matches, like a product has been successfully updated or something like that, right? So get started with the first point and uh, let me open the product service there. And I'm creating a one more function for called the API, which is let's say update product right and uh, here we will call inform uh, we will here we will call our api with the http service uh, http dot put api whenever we want to update an information we have to use the put api method and uh, after that we can simply just put the url like this you can copy this this complete url right it will save our time also uh, me close that also right but now you will find that uh, we didn't pass any parameter there uh, to get the information so we will get the uh, product information in product parameter and uh, that will be the type of product right uh, you remember that we define this product type in our data type there right there that, that is the interface and uh, after that we have to pass this this information as a second parameter so let me pass this product as a second parameter right that is the complete object of our updated product and the id will be just come under the uh, you can say that uh, uh, product of update uh, object so it will be work like that and after that let's go back to the seller up dot dot ts file and here we can call this api right so before that, let me check what we are getting in the uh, data there, right? Once we will submit this, this form, console.won data. And let me check there. So let, I'm just updating this information for a moment. Let's say 400 to 450, 500 to 450. And once I will click over there, you can see that we can get all this information, uh, updated information, right? Right. But there is a one thing which is missing. Uh, we don't we cannot see their ID of that product. So how we can get the ID uh, that is stored inside our uh, product data, right? Because this is coming from the uh, API and this data coming from the uh, that form and in this form we don't have any field uh, for ID but as I told you that we are getting this product data from API. So here we have the ID also. So what we can do that if we can check that if this dot product data is true this is not undefined uh, what we can do that data dot id is this dot product data dot id right and again we can try to just print it once more like what we are getting so now again i am just uh, updating the information let's in that time i just update the information 650 and color is also let's say white or anything and once i'm just clicking over there now you can see that there we have the updated information color price with id also so now this is the perfect object and we can send it with the uh, that uh, update product service right so now i am just calling this service this dot product dot update product and as we know, this is a uh, service, so we can get back a callback function there inside the subscriber. So let me just uh, put the result as a callback parameter. 
and if we can check that if result is success then we can just uh, show a message like a product has been successfully updated or something so what i'm going to do there uh, i'm taking up one more parameter product message by default it could be undefined and there can be some string value also and now let's update it with uh, this dot product message is uh, uh, mm -mm, product has updated right and one more thing in product update product we have to send this data right so let me send this data also perfect and uh, let's say after just updating that information we want to just erase this remove this message after three seconds so what we can do that we can just put there set timeout and uh, let's pass a callback function there is a two function and this will be just uh, run after three seconds so we can see that this stored product information is again undefined perfectly fine and uh, now let's just show this uh, product message inside our HTML area so what I'm going to do there I am putting a p tag double curly braces and there and uh, if you just want to add some style then just go with the style.css we have a class message.p so we can use that there like this and we can remove that dot also and now I hope this should work fine so now let's see let me just start with the basics so I want to just update that uh, Samsung M40 and like I want to just update the price like four nine nine dollar once I will just click over there you can see that product has updated and after three seconds this is erased so let's check the list information is updated so let's try to update the multiple multiple information at the same time Samsung M40 a price is let's say updated $550 and color is also let's say white and if I just click over there you can see that we got the information even if you want then after three seconds you can redirect to the list also and let's check the list here the information is has been updated so thank you so much for watching this video uh, this in video and please support me by subscribe my channel like this video and share your valuable feedbacks in comment box thank you guys